What's up, YouTube? I'm Corey, and welcome to my channel, Let's Talk with Corey. But before I get into today's reaction video, wherever you are in the world today, I mean wherever you are in the world today, I really do hope you're having a great day. But before I go any further, let me pause and give a shout out to my subscribers. Whether you've been with me since day one or you're checking in for the very first time, thank you for your support. Now guys, you've probably seen a little bit of the, what's been trending lately about the so-called super mayor of Dalton Village, Illinois, you know, and how she's been basically allegedly abusing her position and overusing public services, such as a security detail that goes with her everywhere. But before I dive into the video that you guys can see and I read an article, let's start with the beginning. And I'm gonna start when she first got elected as the youngest mayor of that village. Okay, guys, I'm back. Okay, this is ABC7. Um, this is dated May 8th, 2021. Dalton swears in Tiffany Henyard, 37, as village's first female youngest mayor. Um, it goes on to say, it says Dalton, Illinois, the incoming Dalton mayor has big plans for South suburban community after being sworn in Saturday. Not only is she the first female mayor of Dalton, but also the youngest. Tiffany Henyard, 37, who was born and raised in Dalton, ran on a campaign of change. Dalton residents, I am reporting for duty, she said, as she was being sworn in this weekend. She said she wants to focus on curbing crime and bolstering the local economy. One of her first moves include, concludes appointing Chief Robert Collins, who resigned last year under previous administration as the police chief. Crime has been on the rise for a long time in Dalton. I am bringing back Chief Collins. He is he is the new police chief. He has a new plan to fight crime, Hanyard said. Uh, Stephen McCain will also remain as Dalton's fire chief. He is in charge of fire safety plan to ensure that fire hydrants are working, the new mayor said. The 37-year-old single mom said she aims to bring transparency to the office. Remember that word, transparency while focusing on business and job creation. She plans to use federal money to give out grants to local businesses in the coming weeks. We will appoint an economic development director and put them in charge of an economic plan for the village, Henyard said. We need jobs. Henyard was on the village board of trustees and, and is familiar with the complicated legal battle with the city of Chicago. Back in 2018, Chicago sued Dalton over unpaid water bills. The lawsuit alleged that the village used money that was for the water debt to buy other things. Uh, we owe $8 million to the city of Chicago. I want to sit down with the mayor to talk about that. Hopefully she will forgive it. I can try, Henyard said. She is on a mission to better the community and usher in a new era. I grew up with the safe streets and I did not have any problems. It was a suburb, Henyard said. I want to bring that back to Dalton. She won a massive 82% of the vote on April 6th, defeating challenger Ronnie Bird. And I want to pause until I can find uh, the other article about her background, and I'm going to use her um, on actually, back, actually, TiffanyHenyard.com. And this is basically, this is her um, actual web page, and it says uh, Tiffany A. Henyard, the people's, people's super mayor. And this is about her. And I'm gonna read about, about who she is. So you guys get a different perspective of what you've been seeing trending, and then you get a chance to see, or get to find out a little bit more about who she is based on her website, okay? And it says, Mayor Henyard's signature priorities include block by block programs, initiative designed to Dalton residents and to homeowners by allowing them to purchase vacant homes uh, in the community for over $5,000. She also gave residents $1,000 and gasoline to help them get back to work after COVID-19 lockdown. Hey, look, is that a bad thing? That's actually a positive. Uh, Mayor Henyard developed partnerships with local businesses to bring major discounts to residents during holiday shopping season. Another good thing, right? As the chief executive of a large village, Mayor Henyard brings a performance-driven approach to the job, creating more responsive, streamlined, and efficient delivery of village services while shoring up Dalton's financial future. Her experience as an entrepreneur and business owner, she is well adept at executing, managing, and administrating and 
organization having owned and operated a business even during her high school years. Henyard now owns and operates the popular business called The Good Burger Restaurant. Being a business owner and a single mother helps me to understand the needs of both the business community and everyday people, Henyard said. Uh, she's a recipient of the Chicago Anti-Eviction Campaign, Human Rights Defender Award, Chicago Honors Community Active of the Year Award, the Dorothy Brown and New Millennium of Women for Change, Government Commitment Award, and the prestigious Queens Award for Service to Community during COVID-19 Crisis. Let's see, so she's been recognized for her efforts. And, and, and so, that again, this is about Tiffany Hinyard, right? Okay. Numerous publications and news outlets have recognized Mayor Hinyard as a thought leader. As a lifelong resident of Dalton, uh, Mayor Hinyard is passionate about Dalton and continues to live in the community where she grew up. Hey, see there, that's, that's, uh, she's, she was elected there and she lives there. Uh, she graduated with high honors from uh, Thorn Ridge High School and earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in Business Administration with the highest honor sum cum laude from Robert Morris University. So she's educated. Elected in February 2021 with 82% of the vote, the eight-year former village trustee Tiffany Hinyard became the village of Dalton's first and youngest woman mayor in the village 130-year history. Um, it just says here, it says, since taking office, Mayor Hinyard has expertly managed significant changes uh, facing one of Thornton's township's largest villages, including budget deficits, hunger, and mental health resources. Hinyard is a staunch advocate for government policy reform, social justice, and healthcare awareness. And you'll see that she's really big on fundraising. There's a lot of that on her on the website and uh, for Dalton, where she's always raising money for um, uh, special uh, events. And, uh, and and special causes. Uh, it says here, um, amid village wide, wide unrest and calls for improving community, the mayor signed an executive order making Dalton, Illinois, a second change village by providing solutions and resources to returning citizens to properly transition back into society while teaming up with the community leaders to create programs to inspire safety. Now look, so now I'm diving into the background. Now I'm going to go into here. Let's let's talk about this because. Uh, and what was trending about her was talking about, oh, she makes over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year while she's basically, you know, uh, you know, a, a public servant in, in two different places. One, the, uh, the mayor of Dalton Village and then obviously a supervisor for the Thornton Township. But let me make something clear. And I, I begs the question I asked, OK, I dug this up. What is the salary of the mayor of Dalton, Illinois? How much does a mayor make in Dalton, Illinois? Salary range of a mayor job from 42000 to 62000 per year. Okay? Now, that's what the salary range is. Well, I, let me go over it. I think if I wasn't mistaken, when I went into um, looking at the uh, salary for the position in uh, Thornton Township, which was an appointed position. She was appointed, guys. She wasn't elected. Okay? She was appointed. Um, if I'm not mistaken, that position... Uh, was I think it was two hundred and two thousand uh, dollars per year. So that's how we get that, you know, that amount that we're seeing that was trending uh, on social media about. Well, you know, the Tiffany Hanyard, you know, makes two hundred fifty thousand. Well, guess what? She has two positions in two different places: one elected position and another appointed position. One pays well over forty some thousand dollars a year, and the other is two hundred two thousand. You combine them, absolutely, you have over two hundred and fifty thousand. So, um, let's get into some of the other deep stuff um, that's kind of been, you know, plaguing, you know, uh, obviously her her leadership and her administration. So, I'm going to go and find this other uh, uh, article, and I'm pulling it up now, and it just says here, this is coming from the South Suburban News. FBI probes Tiffany Hanyard administration while Thornton Township spending, also an issue. Now it says here, it was only a week ago that the editorial board of the South Suburban News presented an editorial regarding Tiffany Hanyard and her leadership in the Southland community of Dalton, where she serves as mayor. In addition, she serves as the township supervisor of Thornton Township. It was shortly after a news report on Fox News Chicago where questions were raised about her cares, charity, and questions about public funds allegedly being laundered by the charity, according to the reporting. Now, uh, now the South Suburban News has learned uh, 
uh, the Federal Bureau of Investigations, FBI, has questioned several individuals regarding spending, uh, alleged theft of services and issues regarding accounts controlled by the village of Dalton and the township of Thornton. Okay. Uh, these concerns apparently began over the last year or so and coincide with the tenure of Hinyard in both uh, minis municipalities. Now, again, now this was uh, dated as in uh, this was June 16th of this year. Um, it says here, it says um, misuse of public funds have been brought down, have brought down many public figures in Illinois politics. And so it has no it is no surprise that many are beginning to scratch their heads over what is next in the now snowballing Hanyard saga. Oh my goodness. According to the individuals interviewed by investigators, they were questioned about the hiring of cronies at exuberant salaries, practices of merging the use of credit cards between Dalton expenses and Thornton expenses, as well as missing funds. They say there were several questions regarding spending that occurred involving purchases of clothing and other personal items on municipal credit cards for trips. Though the hiring of individuals with shady backgrounds may not be illegal, there were allegedly questions surrounding whether or not kickbacks were a part of any hiring agreement. They asked me about several areas that have been of concern for some time, said one woman who wished not to be identified for fear of harm. She went on to say that she believes it has been the public that has alerted the investigators to Dalton and, and Thornton due to something as simple as township going for going from two million in the black to now running a two million uh, deficit. Hingyard has has long been considered an eccentric and socially electric uh, eclectic political presence in Dalton. Uh, here, seemingly a ghetto fabulous presentation bucks the decorum of a council meeting with the music from a DJ from time to time as well as rumors of chitlings being given away to families during food giveaways. Uh, spending of tax dollars on giveaways uh, is another area of questioning, said a man who was questioned. He told the South Suburban News that there were issues that dealt with whether or not the village or township were, 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 were following Office of Management and Budget protocols as it involved various programs in the village and township not to mention in everyday business practices. Uh, guys, hit that subscribe button. I never thought I'd be questioned and it really caused me to take stock of what I have been involved in around these people explain. I told the truth and the chips will land where they land. The people like her, but I think it is just that they don't know or care about what is really going on. So apparently this, this particular person that was being interviewed by the South Suburban News is basically saying that the people of Dalton or maybe being bamboozled, you know, and to think, you know, that she's this great person. Of course, she has done a lot of good things, but the FBI is, is, is looking into this stuff, okay? And again, I said, I want to start with who she was, a little bit about her and her background, you know, and then to move into other, you know, important things that are going on around her administration and leadership. Um, so it says here, what is also concerning is that the board of trustees of both bodies uh, may be taking on liabilities that they may later have to defend if they have been complicit in their ignoring in their ignoring the practices that may be physically irresponsible or worse yet illegal on phone calls to the Illinois FBI offices ended with the usual. We do not commit com uh, comment on whether or not we uh, we are not investigating or whether or not we are investigating. All right, guys, I'm going to pause and I'll pull up another article. Right, guys, okay? I'm back now. As I run the clip, I'm going to read the article. So um, without actually having to uh, the, the play too much of the clip where with an audio, I'm actually going to read the article that involves the clip that you guys are going to see. Again, guys, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Okay, this is Fox 32 Chicago investigative report. This is the title. Investigative report reveals Dalton residents are shelling out big bucks for mayor's security detail. And now this was dated uh, September 20 of this year. Uh, Dalton, Illinois, she is a part-time mayor of a South suburban village of a little more than 20,000 people. Uh, yet residents of Dalton are paying hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to provide security for their self-proclaimed super mayor. Tiffany Hinyard makes nearly a quarter million dollars a year serving as both a mayor of Dalton and Thornton, Thornton uh, Township Supervisor, an elected position, political double dip. Uh, she's charismatic and controversial and it's hard to turn, 
turn anywhere in Dalton without seeing Hain Yard's picture or, on, or online where she recently commem commemorated September 11th with her own photo. We're talking about September 9th of 9-11. Okay, well, I don't know why her photo's up next to the 9-11. I mean, anyway, but apparently she loves seeing herself and love other people seeing her as well. Uh, it says, but when Fox 32 uh, Dane Placco asked Hanyard a few months ago about her use of tax dollars, she was quickly hustled out of the room by armed security. And in a Facebook video posted by Hanyard herself, you can see her being driven around and surrounded by Dalton officers, which got us wondering why all these cops. Now it does, you know, a, 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 a town or a village with 20,000 people, you know, do you really need a security detail every day, all day, you know, again, you know, this, this is, this is taxpayers money. This is, this is a, this is use of public funds. Um, anyway, it says here, we weren't opposed to her having a security detail. We asked how long and how often said Dalton trustee, Brittany Norwood. Norwood said Hinyard began assembling her security details shortly after being elected in 2021 using handpicked Dalton police officers. After filing a freedom of information request, Fox 32 obtained the work records for six of, six of the officers assigned to Hinyard security detail at various times. The records show the officers are paid every two weeks, which without overtime is 80 hours. But when they're put on Hinyard's detail, that 80 hours balloons to well over 100 hours in many cases. Other officers are putting in for 200 hours of work per pay period. Now look, now look, hey, they're not no rocket scientists. That's a lot of hours. And when are you sleeping? But anyway, we keep on. It says, uh, and last last May, Officer Terry Young was paid for 303 hours. Good Lord. Worked for over a two-week, 303 hours work over a two-week period. Uh, come on, man. And uh, that might be suspect. But yeah, I mean, you know, but that's just my opinion. And in my opinion, it don't matter. It says uh, that resulted in a single paycheck of more than $13,000 for two weeks of work. Good Lord. I don't know if that's abuse, but you know, some, people, some people may call that abuse. Okay. How? How does a person put in two week pay period, 303 hours, asked Dalton trustee Tammy Brown. That's impossible. That's impossible. Does he ever go to sleep? Exactly. That's what I was saying. There are a, there are a total of 336 total hours in two weeks. Meaning Young was not being paid for was not being paid for only 33 hours over that period. Uh, other officers on the security detail also racked up overtime paychecks and in, in multiple thousands of dollars. In late August, Fox 32 tried to question Hinyard about her police detail as she went door to door in Dalton, giving out water on a hundred degree day. She was surrounded by police, firefighters, public work works employees, and two videographers documenting her trip for Dalton's Facebook page. Hinyard ignored our questions. Earlier that day, we watched as the Dalton cop drove Hinyard from her her other job at Thornton. Now, okay, now that's that may be questioned because you know you're using resources from one one village to another township. I I don't know about that, but again, you know, you guys, you know, you you got any uh, info about that, or you're an expert on you know uh, resources being used from one town to another? Hey, please chime in. Uh, it says, uh, you know, uh, drove Hinyard from her jo other job at Thornton Township to Mexican restaurant for lunch. Okay. Trustee said the security detail picks up the mayor at her home in the morning and is with her until she's dropped off at night and often takes her on errands and shopping. I don't know about that either. It's time for you to get in your own vehicle to do your own shopping and run your own errands. I mean, you know, that's not, it doesn't sound like that's part of the deal. Okay. But again, who am I? Does Hinyard need a security detail? Absolutely not, responded Trustee Brown. Why? Why would you need a security detail? Trustee Norwood believe Hinyard uses the detail to, to varnish her ego. Yeah, I think she's kind of thinking, she's kind of moving like a celebrity without being one. Um, <clears throat> oh, she loves it. She just loves it. She loves the detail. I think it makes her feel as if she's like a superstar. Well, she says she's a self-proclaimed super mayor, right? So uh, super attention is what she likes. Uh, Dalton trustees have filed a lawsuit against Hinyard. Uh-oh. Alleging she uh, has not justified the needs for security and is spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on it without the board's approval. Now, okay. 
And this is where things is gonna get interesting down the road. We're gonna keep our eyes peeled back on this. I see no justification whatsoever. And more than that, that more than that is really a detriment to the citizens of Dalton. Of course, when you're overspending or you're spending unnecessarily on things that you shouldn't be spending on and putting those resources somewhere else. Um, it says here, uh, it says, uh, uh, says trustee Jason House, if we were to take the same money and put it on the officers patrolling the streets, then the residents would see a much better presence and public safety would be better. Now, I agree to that. We've had a few shootings, said trustee Norwood, so we need the extra police patrolling the streets instead of, instead of patrolling her. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fox 32 also detained Dalton's credit card statement showing Hinyard taking a detail on her even when she travels out of town. Records show spending thousands of dollars on plane tickets, lodging, and meals for the officers. As for the village's finances, trustees say D Dalton is now getting sued by some vineyard vendors for failure to pay his bills. That's not good, okay? Now think about this. When she became the mayor of, of Dalton Village, she talked about all the things she's gonna talk about, jobs and, and, and you know, and, and change and, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and fixing, you know, the, the, the finances there. I mean, it seems like everything has gone downhill since the beginning but anyway it says in the last two physical years we're five million dollars in a hole five million dollars in a hole you guys take a look at that thumbnail i put up and a big part of it is the security details said trustee house uh fox 32 emailed a list of detailed questions about the security detail to hinyard spokesperson so far there has been no response guys i'm gonna end it there this is incredible now again I wanted to kind of take it from a different angle rather than just diving right into it. Hey guys, hit that subscribe button. Uh, and I wanted to kind of take a look at, you know, who she was, you know, where was she from? She's obviously born and raised in that town. Uh, she, you know, went to Robert Morris uh, University, you know, uh, you know, sum cum laude, you know, educated, you know, she's a single mom, you know, what, you know, I'm not saying that that matters what she's a single mom, but you know, this was a, it was a big deal at the time when she first got elected as mayor. And then later she became obviously the supervisor for Thornton uh, Township, you know, so two high level res responsibilities, you know, and, and, and that she's leading from, from, from in both places, right? And then somewhere, somewhere down the line, all the things that she, you know, wanted to do or are, are, are just kind of getting twisted where, you know, she's battling with the trustees there in Dalton, you know, about spending. And obviously, you know, again, I think everyone who's watching this video can see that, you know, it's kind of over the top, you know, having a detail from 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 the sun up to sundown. And then, you know, they're running errands and, you know, and, and taking shopping and all that stuff. And, and then you're traveling between, you know, jurisdictions and where you both you're 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 a leader in both places but you shouldn't be using resources from one town to the other right you know that could be in question as well but again i did read where there's an fbi pro guys you leave a comment what's your thoughts you know uh, about you know uh tiffany hangyard you know the self self-proclaimed you know super mayor and also supervisor of thornton township do you think uh, that she's abusing her, her authority and power do you feel like that maybe there's some things that's going to come out of this that's going to blow it all the way up? You know, you leave a comment. We're going to keep our eyes peeled back. And as always, thanks for watching. Until the next time, let's talk with Corey. Let's talk with Corey out.